Hey guys, today I'm excited to open up this Scrawler Box because it's actually a pretty heavy one. So if you don't know what Scrawler Box is, it's one of those monthly subscriptions that you can sign up for and you get a box of mystery art supplies every month. And if you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the description. I just ripped the box. Oh well. <laughs> So every month you get your sticker, you get a list of supplies and a prompt, and then you have your art. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> it's like all art supplies and I go, candy. <laughs> Here we have a Stedler Mars Lumograph Aquarelle made in Germany pencil. Oh, I see a water brush. Yep, water brush, size medium, Faber-Castell, or however you pronounce it. Very cool. Oh, I see a pencil sharpener. Oh, this is really heavy. I will never say no to a sharpener. Here we got an eraser, plastic eraser. Not my favorite kind of eraser, but it erases, then I'll be happy. And we have the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. <laughs> I, I love like everything on this is saying they're watercolor pencils, but I had to find it where it was literally written. Oh, and that is so beautiful, even through the paper. Oh, I wanna see this. Oh, okay, this is gorgeous. This one I'm hanging up. Ooh. Okay, so uh, along with the art supplies, the candy, sticker, <laughs> you also get a little print, and then um, they usually put a little tiny little paragraph about the artist and how you can check them and follow them on social media. It's Carla Cachoa, I don't know how to say that. Okay, and we also have a piece of paper. Scrawler Box Challenge is to use all of these art supplies and this prompt word, which is quiet morning. So let's try and s uh, sketch something out. Watermelon bubble 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 bum. <laughs> Watermelon bubble bum. I have a tiny piece of watercolor paper. I think this is Canson uh, XL watercolor paper. And I think I will do a little testing to see what colors we've got. A little swatchy swatch. I don't own anything Faber Castell until today, so I think that's a good brand. I don't know. That is a lot of documentation. So yeah, you do a little scritchy scratchy and then you apply water. Look at the difference. Let's line them all up. Cause I'm not OCD. You're the one who's OCD, okay? Oh, and look at this rainbow. All right, let's take some water. Squeeze a little maybe. White, you really can't see anything. So we'll, we'll oops, squeezed a little too hard. Okay, ooh, pretty. I should probably be wiping the brush off. Where to put the paper towel? Where'd it go? All right, we good now. We good, we're all professional around here. I'm having a little trouble because you're supposed to squeeze up here, but I hold it down here. Those brushes, interesting. So you squeeze and then pull it down. What's kind of cool is you're not limited to like, you know, keep the pigment inside where you've drawn. You can stretch it out a lot. So yeah, there's all our colors. This color. What do you mix to get this color? That is gorgeous. It's one of those and a little bit of orange. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that's pretty though. So you gotta be careful because you can still see where it was drawn. So you don't want to draw anything too ugly. I do like this color though. Can I quit bumping things? <laughs> I practiced it with the pencil. Bad idea. All right, so I, I just sketched this. I'm not happy with it. And I had this moment of realization while I went and got some grapes. Every time I unbox a scroller box, I get so overwhelmed with the art supplies that are things that like I've never used before. And I go way out of my comfort zone and try to like draw in almost a completely different style, which is just a little bit too much <laughs> to chew at once. So, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to try to take the same general concept, you know, quiet morning, obviously. And um, I'm going to flip this over because it's dry now. And I'm going to try, as I reach over here, ugh, I'm going to tape it to the back of this, flip it over. I'm going to tape it on here. And I'm going to try to draw something that is like something that I would draw, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I keep trying to be someone I'm not when I do scroller box. But today, I'm, I've realized that's something I do. And uh, I'm gonna break the cycle. 
Yeah, so hopefully I'll actually be happy with this because I keep doing this and then I end up with the drawing that I'm not happy with. And uh, I think that's just really dumb of me. I don't know why I do that. I mean, because I'm using new art supplies, which is already, you know, <laughs> scary. <laughs> I mean, it's fun and scary. But I'm also trying to be someone else and that's not me. So I'm going to just be me. That seems like it makes sense. Ugh. Okay. So I flipped it over, taped it on here, and I'm going to draw something <sighs> that makes sense. All right, let's draw a person. Whenever you end up with like a sketchy mess like this, I don't know if you can see because I drew it in yellow, but just give it a light erase, but don't erase the whole thing too much. Now you can see what you, the mistakes you made earlier. And then you can go over it again, fix them and find the good lines, draw over those and ignore the bad lines. And they almost just disappear. Sort of, not really, but sort of. All right, it's just about done sketching out this part. But I gotta figure out the legs. This is very similar to a drawing of maple I did on this channel. But shh, doesn't matter. If I bring the knee over this way. Oh, she's a ballerina, maybe. Hey, are you a ballerina? She's definitely wearing leggings, though. Got some pillows. Just add pillows anywhere. Anywhere that, like, it logically doesn't make sense for her to be in this position, I'll add a pillow. <laughs> yeah, that is, my goal is to just not end up with a muddy mess. If I end up with a mess, that's still a win in my book, as long as it's not muddy. So now I'm gonna um, erase a bit of it and then start adding colors maybe, because I don't want it to have a super harsh yellow outline when I start coloring. And since these are also the water-based, or not water-based, but water color pencils, it's all gonna run together, so I want as little of the yellow pigment left as possible, but I still want to be able to see. And ew, forgot how much I hate erasers. <laughs> it's freaking... It looks like hair. What if we just take the pink, add a little bit of blushies, and smooth that out through the whole thing? We might end up with a pretty good color. This is also a little, this is very weird for me. Mostly because I'm a big, I really like to put the line art down and then the color. Cause I feel like I just have a better idea of what's going on. So this is gonna be one of those drawings that is really, really ugly before it starts looking good. If we're lucky enough to get to that point. Sometimes I freak out and give up, so. Okay, we're getting a lot more color now. I don't want it to be too pink. Yeah, if they had included like a liner, I totally would have done that first. But part of the challenge is to only use the supplies they give you. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm not, I'm actually kind of liking this for the skin color. I think because it's mixing with the yellow pretty well. Now I'm trying not to smudge it too much with the hair because I want to maintain some of these lines you know because they sort of look like hairs <laughs> and I think that texture would really work very well so I want to maintain that as much as possible I really like this color for the hair it's actually really pretty yeah good I like it I like it what would happen if I go over it again with a little more let me draw some eyebrows maybe if I start adding a little detail this drawing will look a little better <laughs> Ooh, well now that it's dry, I probably could take a little bit of pink here and work on this. Cool. Kinda like that. Alright, let's add some more colors. Let's probably do the mug and the pants next since those don't overlap. I think the mug will be kind of blue. Maybe this color. So pink and green because of all that yellow. No! Ooh. I just added more water to like the blushy bits that I had just drawn on there. I kind of like it. I like it. I feel like the pants should be a dark color, maybe. We could either go brown or black. 
black seems like such a harsh color though. Let's start with brown and then we can always darken it later. If this brush is a little stiffer, I think I'd get some different results. I'd be able to rub out these like lines that I've created better. But gotta work with what I got. But yeah, it's definitely not as dark as I want it. Yeah, and then adding darker lines, I end up with the lines and they don't go away. So this is a bit of a struggle. That gives me a pretty dark line. If I add it to the wet, I think what we could do is maybe do some of these pillows. Do some, maybe I'll use the same color as her mug for now. Let's see if I can get some darker colors. There's a bubble and it won't go away. Go away, bubble. What do you want from me? I'll color this curtain green. Yeah. Then this pillow can also be green. I know I made that curtain blue, but I have this blue pillow, so I can't make this curtain blue or they will blend together too much. I want them to stand out a little more. So this curtain is going to be green. Drawing's starting to come together. <laughs> Watercolors is such a slow process. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of add some blue to the green one now. Because I really like the way that other one looks. Maybe I can get this to work here. Just smudge it around. <laughs> Whatever her shirt color is, I'll probably make this part the same color. I wish this would blend a little better. Too many like strokes. You can still see all the pencil lines. Don't love that. This, like, I really like how smooth this leg right here is. I guess I could just make her shirt yellow. It's the color I have everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yellow. Kind of like it. I like the way it's with the green above it. The green is not coming off the bristles here. Not very well. So hopefully your shirt doesn't end up very green. No, looks pretty yellow to me. I like it, I like it, I like it. Hmm. Ah, it's flying away. I'm trying something here by mixing white, no, or not white, it's yellow and orange. See what happens. Ooh, that's a really bright color. Kind of like that it's lighter there, and there's like a line underneath. Still got a bit of streaking where the orange was. The yellow blends the best. Like you lose all the lines of the yellow, but this orange is showing through. The brown is really showing through. This brown is, but I was trying to do that. So I'm not gonna complain about that one. <laughs> I feel like when this dries, I might be just about done. I just need to add all the black lines, you know, a little bit of liner. And I think I'm just about done. Woo! I can also go over it again with like the pencils once everything's dry create more details so very excited all right this is working it's working okay okay I think it's dry now I can go over it with this pencil I think I want a ruler for that part but let's just start by going over some of the lines and see how I like it kind of like this better because I'm thinking I was I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the black um, watercolor pencil or just the regular pencil this is almost a gray, so I kind of like it better because I think it'll be a little less harsh. It doesn't quite sharp enough. I'll sharpen that. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta remember where the <laughs> arms are in here because that yellow pencil actually absorbed all the lines with the water, so. I'm gonna have to guess, I guess. The mug. I feel like I should write some funny saying on the mug, but I can't think of anything. 
What would you write on the mug? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm not a very particularly creative person. Or as I've gotten older, I've gotten less creative or something. <laughs> or I think as I've gotten older, I've just gotten a bigger fear of messing up. So I'm scared to take chances. I don't know. But if you're creative, hold on to that. It's really hard to see the pencil over the brown. I can actually add some shading with the pencil too if I want. Hey! There's another pillow back here. The funny little squiggly things, even though I've never seen a pillow like that. <laughs> I don't know why I draw pillows like that. To be completely honest. I don't know if I should grab a ruler or if I trust myself with these lines. <laughs> Why don't we go for it? Why don't we go for it? This isn't turning out too bad. I kinda like it. I like the lines. <laughs> Messed up over here. <laughs> Oops. I don't know if I can erase this. Okay. Looks a little better. Just finish up the hair and I think I'm done. <gasps> Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, let's see if there's anywhere I want to add like some extra color. Some like shading or anything. Little pops of more color for shading wherever I feel like it. I dig it. It's alright. It's pretty cute. Maybe that one's a darker one. Ta da! I think I'm done. Sign it, send it off. Cool. Kind of like this. Oh, I guess I should peel the tape. Ooh. There's probably a way to avoid that from happening. But I don't know how to do it. Perfect. <laughs> I put the tape way too far on the edge. But yeah, I like this. I think it turned out really, really cute. I dig it. I get a very morning vibe from it. She actually looks a little tired, so maybe I get a late evening vibe. But the colors scream morning. So I really like it. I think this was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun with this one. If you're interested in getting your own Scrawler Box subscription, I'll have a link in the description where you can check it out. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!